is before I go on vacation for a week, yay, I wanted to um, come up with an update and show you what I've been working on. And hopefully I am taking one of my projects on vacation with me. So I'm hoping that in between kind of going to the beach that I'll be able to get a lot of stitching done. So since my last update, I have only worked on two of the whips that I've had going of about you know, five or six. And um, so first, Treasure Hunt Bookshelf. This is my Heaven and Earth design, and this is what it should look like when it's done. This is what it looked like last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like now. So I am finally reaching the bottom edge of the first page and the far edge of this page. And so I am really hoping, and it's realistic to think that maybe I might actually have a page finish on vacation. So here's hoping, and even maybe starting another page. I don't know. I am absolutely loving working on this. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Um, I've, I've completely um, adjusted to doing tent stitch and doing the counting, and I actually am probably getting new stitching glasses because I need a little bit of a higher power to work on this for any length of time. And if I can't sleep or for any reason why I'm stitching for a couple of hours, I definitely need um, the right glasses to stitch on this. I'm really liking working, um, I'm using Good Reader for the pattern, and I'm really liking that. And so far, um, now that I'm in a rhythm and I've kind of adjusted to this, I'm actually, things are going pretty quickly and I'm loving it so much. So anyway, I, I hope to get a lot done. Um, I'm actually almost up to, these are the top of the books. So I, I can't believe it. Um, I can't believe how much, how quickly I've, I've come along on this. And I'm still kind of working out my parking method. I, you know, if I do a stitch in a square of a hundred, you know, I really can't bear to not do the next stitch if it's like right next to it. Or, you know, if I have like a row of those that go into the next block of hundred. So what I've been doing is I will kind of start with the upper um, left hand corner of a 10 by 10 block, start with that stitch and kind of work my way over. But I will continue stitching with that color as long as the counting is easy and I feel comfortable with it. As soon as I get kind of far away and I find myself trying to spend a lot of time counting, then I park it and I, I leave it. And, um, and I do work on different sections, so that means that I have, you know, some stitches here, some stitches here, and some stitches here. But, you know, it's okay for now. I think as I work on it more, I may refine what I'm doing. I may decide to do it differently, but I really do love if I need to work on um, a section and I already have a parched thread, just threading the needle and working rather than taking the time to start a new thread, which doesn't take all that long, but considering that there are, you know, a couple hundred thousand stitches in this piece, I think any, any time saved is a good thing. So anyway, this is my treasure hunt bookshelf. And um, what else? I also have been working on Lady Hera by Mirabilia. So this is what it should look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like now. I have finished a lot of the dress here and the wraps and I finally got to finish the arm and backstitch it and then I've done all of the teal on this part of the curtain so beads and then there are if you see what's on this type of like green with flowers that same type of stitching goes all the way around here so that's what I will be working on um, maybe not the week I'm on vacation of course because I will not be taking this piece with me but 
I'm hoping soon to have it done so I'll be able to sort of move the piece down and stitch more on it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that after I get back from vacation, I'll have a lot to show you as far as my progress on my heaven and earth design. And then we'll go from there. So thank you so much. Bye.